असलम आज हम देखेंगे कि हम अपने विंडोज़ कंप्यूटर के ऊपर सेलोनेट का ब्लू वेव वी आई एस फिफ्टी स्पेक्ट्रोमीटर कैसे इंस्टॉल कर सकते हैं और उससे फिर हम स्पेक्ट्र की मेजरमेंट कैसे ले सकते हैं तो यहाँ पे मेरे पास वी आई एस फिफ्टी स्पेक्ट्रोमीटर मौजूद है जो कि मेरे कंप्यूटर के साथ यू एस बी टू केबल के साथ कनेक्टेड है और इसको इंस्टॉल करने के सबसे पहले हम स्टेलोनेट का स्पेक्ट्र हुए सॉफ्टवेयर जो कि हमें स्पेक्ट्रम को डिस्प्ले uh, करने सेव करने वगैरह वगैरह में मदद करेगा हम वो इंस्टॉल करेंगे और उसके बाद हम ड्राइवर्स की जाने बढ़ेंगे जो कि बेसिकली uh, हमारे कंप्यूटर को स्पेक्ट्रोमीटर के हार्डवेयर के साथ इंटरेक्ट करने की इंफॉर्मेशन uh, देता है um, सबसे पहले हम um, ये फाइल डाउनलोड करेंगे zip इसको आप एस्ट्रो लैब डॉट ए सी या फिर फिज लैब डॉट ऑर्ग से डाउनलोड कर सकते हैं और uh, यहाँ पर मैंने इसको डाउनलोड करने के बाद एक्सट्रैक्ट कर लिया एक्सट्रैक्ट कर दा फोल्डर के अंदर देखा जाए तो आपके पास कई फाइल्स और कई डायरेक्ट्रीज़ हैं इनमें से ट्रेनिंग वीडियोस और ट्यूटोरियल्स भी शामिल हैं सो इफ़ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड यू कैन डू दैट ऑन योर ओन टाइम फॉर नाउ वी आर इंटरेस्टेड इन दीज टू डायरेक्टरीज जो कि हमें ड्राइवर्स और स्पेक्ट्रवे सॉफ्टवेयर की तरफ लेके जाते हैं सबसे पहले मैं जल्दी से स्पेक्ट्रवे सॉफ्टवेयर को इंस्टॉल कर दूँगा इसको इंस्टॉल करने के लिए डायरेक्ट्री के अंदर सॉफ्टवेयर फाइव डायरेक्ट्री के अंदर जाकर आई जस्ट हैव डबल क्लिक एस एंड it should just do it on its own there we go and it's uh, it's also given us this little icon on our desktop we'll just be using that in a bit so if i go ahead and open this right now we'll notice that um it pops up an error because uh although we have connected our spectrometer it can't it doesn't have the drivers to interact with it um so we'll just click okay and exit out real quick and install the drivers so to install the drivers we go to that same directory you know the selenet directory and we go to sw drivers 16 and if we go in hum dekhenge ke yahan pe hamare paas drivers install karne ke liye ek exe file maujood hai um lekin if we try to install our drivers through that we we'll notice that some sort of error pops up and this um error basically you know it says that pnputil.exe is not recognized um this happens to the best of my understanding because in you know in our day and age we use uh, 64 bit windows installations which do not support uh, the pnp util package in 32 bit uh, which is what this installation batch file looks for so it's possible to um, sort of add the path to the 64 bit pnp util.exe file uh, and if someone uh, wants to do that please do so and let me know that would be really helpful uh, but for now um, the ins- we can install in another way which is much simpler which is um, to just go to your device manager Opening up, right, and uh, over here we'll notice that we have a device called USB to EPP, um, and it has a yellow um, warning sign on it, which is a good sign um, that it's our spectrometer because you know we just don't have the drivers to interact with it, so Windows doesn't know what it is. Uh, so we'll just right-click on that update driver, and we'll click browse my computer for drivers because we already have the drivers. We just need to point Windows towards them. um we'll browse to the folder where we have our downloaded uh, or like you know downloaded and extracted directory which is for me on the desktop uh we'll scroll down a little bit and we'll go to selenet uh, sw driver 16 and then in the sw drivers usb2 spectrometers folder we have windows 7 windows 8 windows 10 so i'm using windows 11 that's the most appropriate one for me we'll just click on that and we'll click okay and hit next and that's pretty much it it should be able to install the drivers uh normally and it did and with that we'll close it uh we'll also be able to see okay now we don't have that you know warning sign we do have a usb under the usb uh dev um drop down menu a selenet spectrometer option which is you know a good sign that we have installed the drivers for our spectrometer we'll just exit out and now we'll open up the spectrum with software and we'll be able to see okay there's no error which is a good sign and if i take the spectrometer and i just direct it towards a um a white part of my screen right here we'll be able to see some peaks and it's really interesting because these are the red green and blue peaks um for the rbg pixels in our monitor so yeah that's a good sign that we have uh, installed our software and uh, that's pretty much it